If we take a look at what we see in our address bar here, we see this site's domain, which is rockbottomgolf.com. If we look directly beside the domain name, we see golf swing trainers and practice aids. The latter part of that address is what is known as the page file name. Page file names are a fantastic place for us to include our website's keywords. Unfortunately, many webmasters make the mistake of not taking advantage of this opportunity. You will notice how this particular address is not painfully long, has dashes separating the words, and is very clean looking. This page name makes it much easier for search engines to understand what this particular page revolves around. If we compare this address to one that looks something like this, we can really get a good idea of how search engines would have an easier time categorizing this page. It's typical to see webmasters naming their page file names with generic names such as page one or home page. Our goal is to utilize every option we have for incorporating our keywords into our website. Whenever you create a new page, make sure your file is given a keyword rich name. If you already have pages with poor file names, but are actually successful with search engines, do not change the file name as this will ruin your ranking. Just be sure to apply this optimization tip in the future. To name your files, highlight the file in the web pages navigation on the left. Then press the page info button and where it says file name, type in your new page file name. Try to use a key term that is greater than one word and less than six words in length. Remember to use dashes to separate each word. It is important to note that your homepage's file name will be index.html. Do not rename this page, just leave it as is. So remember to change your page names to include keywords related to your site. Do not leave spaces between words. Use dashes and not underscores to separate them. This is because search engines have an easier time differentiating between words that have dashes as opposed to underscores.